Hey folks, Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap. I'm in a green side bunker that's elevated to a tight flag. We're gonna go step by step with how to get you out of this situation so you can get it up and down. So the first order of business, I'm taking my sand wedge, and in this case it's a 60 degree tailor-made wedge, and I'm just gonna lay it open. I'm gonna do two things to add loft here. First, I'm gonna just torque the club. That initially adds loft. Second, I'm gonna take the, the butt end of the golf club and I'm gonna start to lower it. When I do that, notice how there's about 90 degrees of loft now on the wedge. Bunker shots, ball position forward, left foot flared out, leaning left quite a bit. I'm going to wrist cock this and take it around my right shoulder, or around my right uh, tricep. So I've got plenty of loft. I'm going to really lean to the left. I'll, I tell people, take their trail hand, touch the outside of their lead knee, that gets their spine tilted forward. That's gonna help me to get the steep angle I need to get the ball out of here. For this, when I'm practicing these shots, I'll just draw a line in the sand. I want that line to really be in line with the balls. And then I want uh, my left foot on that line and flared out. That helps me to keep my body over here because if I start moving back, then the club starts hitting the ground in the wrong places. So left foot on the line, flared out, lean quite a bit to the left, add quite a bit of loft. This is gonna be a wrist cock around my right shoulder. As I'm coming through the sand, I want to make sure that as I leave the sand, I'm leaving the club face in the same condition. So I don't want to see any change in loft to the club face. That requires my wrist to work a little bit differently. So I'm allowing the club to actually pass my arms. This would be a specialty shot. Get it. When I get done, I'm looking, okay, I'm tracking. My feet were in, my foot kept finding the same location. The center of my divots was finding the same location so that as I trace all these out, I can see how consistently I was hitting the sand. Next time you practice in the bunker, draw a line, put four or five balls on. Here, here would be your drill. Just draw a line in the bunker. See how consistently can you make a divot relative to that line. If you're hitting back here, up here, back here, up here, there's no way you're gonna be consistent. Follow these steps and you'll start popping them out of the bunker with ease. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification. That way when we put out more content, you get notified. Please leave your comments down below because that helps us to create more content for you. Like this video, our ratings go up, and more golfers like you will be exposed to our content. For Impact Snap, thanks for watching.